Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new plane uh, and just quickly talk about different parts as well. So if I wanted to basically draw somewhere else and I can't do it on the front or the top or the right plane, uh, I can create my own plane. So basically my own piece of paper that I can now, that I want to draw on. Um, so what I'm going to do is draw a lid for this box and essentially I want to create it above the box so I can still see the top of it um, but it's a bit easier to draw it when it's above it rather than try to draw like on the inside uh, of where it's going to go. Um, so essentially I just want to lift up this top plane uh, above the box. So I can click on any plane, I'm going to click on the top plane and then the plane icon is uh, towards the the right and it, it looks like one of the planes so I need to click on that and what I can do I can either type in how high I want it or I can click and drag this little arrow um, but essentially I want my plane my new plane to be 70 mil uh, up and I can click OK and basically I've made a new plane that I can now draw on um, so I can click on that I can go to sketch just treat it as a normal plane and essentially what I'm going to do is draw uh, an inside but it's above it um, but I know that that rectangle that square will fit on the inside of this box that I've made so that's that part and now I can just draw on the top of this part and then draw another square, which is just slightly, I'm going to do it with a slight overhang. And then, so I know that this lid will fit really nicely on the inside of this box uh, because I've used basically the dimensions of the inside of that box and uh, at the moment they're two separate parts which is what I want because I need to print them as two separate parts um, which means that you know the lid can move from the box and also it means that I can do them in different colors if I wanted to as well um, so if I if I turn the lid off then you can see that this is just part one and then that's the lid is just part two. So then when they're printed, they're separate parts, so it'll work as a box and a lid.